Welcome to the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. I am your host, Tanya Hoffman. And as usual, usual, we have an amazing, fabulous guest star. All right, y'all have to buckle in for this one. So I'd like to introduce you, Galit. Hey, Galit, how are you? Hi, Tanya. I need a little bit of whatever you had this morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Y'all are going to adore her because obviously she's so fabulous. Um, before we get started, I wanted to remind you that we really, really, really want you to go out and change the world from the front of the room by joining the Public Speakers Association because it's all about helping you find speaking opportunities, marketing the heck out of you so that people get to really know who you are and how you can change their lives. So go to public speakers with an s association all spelled out dot com today find out information and we have a summer special running through july 15th so jump on this don't wait july 15th is our cutoff so the coupon code is summer half off summer half off all together lowercase all right so let's get back over to glee all right glee so <laughs> tell us how fabulous are you what's going on in your world i love this i love the word fabulous it's just so much fun there's something about it and there's something about the way you're saying it too which is really fun well everything's wonderful i'm excited to be a member of your amazing organization and one of the things that i teach my clients is it's so important to be a part of organizations that support what you want to do, which obviously a lot of the people I work with are speakers. So absolutely check out Tanya, check out the organization because I love being a member. I get so many awesome things like this fabulous interview. So my world has been really busy and so wonderful. May was a great month for me. We just came out of May. I had three great speaking opportunities. I was interviewed on Voice America, which was amazing. I was on television again locally. I have another TV appearance tomorrow here on Channel 8. So so lots of really neat things, how to publish articles. So a lot of what I teach is associated with making yourself visible. And one of the funnest things that I've just come up with, and you know, as Tanya, we're always coming up with a new way to always. show everybody how to be successful. And so my latest thing is what I started chatting with you a bit about and why I'm on here today, mastering the empowerment equation. So I thought it'd be fun to talk about that for a little today. I love it. I think that that's probably the biggest challenge, especially for women, is to empower themselves. So how do you look at it? You know, because I'm there's all kinds of different ways. What's kind of your focus on so it? So empowerment equation in my definition, because everybody has their own, is really about being a person of influence. And for me, being a person of influence is what I've strived to be my whole life. And now I wanted to teach others how to do so as well, as well as men, men and women. So what I do is I show you guys how four cornerstones that if you implement them into your life, you'll be seen more as a professional speaker. And what's really neat, and Tanya, you know this world, I don't actually even go out and look for my opportunities anymore because of these four cornerstones and what I implement, they're actually coming to me. And that's probably the most benefits that you're going to get from it. I love it. Yes, you know, that is the number one thing that most people don't invest enough in is the influence factor, right? It's never yes. about what you know. It's about who you know and who knows you. Yes, and being an influence and making an influence because we don't always directly connect that to our success, but we don't realize that the benefits always outweigh every day what you're doing and what you're putting in, but it's kind of fun. So the four cornerstones that I love talking about are visibility, serving, leadership, and business. Love it. So yeah. when you start looking at um, playing, playing the influence game, um, you've got those four kind of pegs, right? That holds up the chair. You know, you yes. Oh, I love that. And you Great. fall over. <laughs> yes. That's really what it is. It's a balance. I love the way that you said that, Tanya. I didn't even think about that. And I'm so visual. So now I keep imagining a chair. And when you have these four things that you're implementing in your life and real briefly, just to discuss them, for example, the first one that you really want to master is visibility. Because as someone, a person of influence in the empowerment equation, if you're not visible, you can't make an impact. People can't 
know about your gift and want to learn about your gift and you can't share it with people if they don't know that you have it. So it's really important to be visible. Just to, for example, a great example is what Tanya and I are doing today. She is working with her members to make them visible so people know what they do. So it's important to share your accomplishments, share every time that you speak, share every time that you've got something that's published or something exciting that's going on. And today it's just so easy with social media. Oh, I know people don't use social media enough for the influence game. You know, I always tell people if, how do people even know you're still in business? You have never said anything about your business. Right? Nobody, do you think they can just read through the computer that this is what you do? No, you need to tell them. Ask for the things you need. Tell people. Every once in a while, I'll post my speakers reel and say, hey, if you guys know anybody that's looking for a speaker, reach out. It's amazing because with the algorithms, not everybody sees everything all the time. So that time someone might see it that didn't see it the time before. And I also do the same with LinkedIn. I love Facebook and LinkedIn. Those are my two main ways of of being visible but everybody's got what works for them yes and that's the whole point right that's one of the reasons i created the association because i found that people didn't have enough visibility really look at it if someone's going to bring in a speaker they want someone that other people want to watch right they want to see that people are actually interested in what you have to say (laughs) so you have to get yourself out there not stop hiding yourself yeah and What's neat about that piece is that most of us were never looking to be in front of the camera or in a sense center of attention. We just recognize that the only way to get our purpose out there and to share it with others was this way. Because like Tanya said, if I hide in my four walls all day long, that's great, but I'm not really going to make an impact or an influence. So visibility is a big one. And then the second one is leadership really important to be a leader, leader in your life, leader in your community, leader in your business. You want to know that people are always observing you. And as a leader, they're watching you to see how you react. What are you doing in your business when things aren't going so well? What are you doing in the community when a tragedy occurs? Unfortunately, it happens sometimes. How are you leading others to do, to give, to be purposeful and passionate about what they're doing. So you want to look at opportunities or you want to create them. Some of us like you and I, Tanya, we're creating them every day because not always are they the ones we want to take. So we create what we want to do. But being a leader is a really important piece of the empowerment equation as well. Yeah, and also being a leader in the arena that you're wanting to have influence in, right? That's why every time someone's an executive director for the Public Speakers Association, their career just just skyrockets because people start seeing them as someone that is leading them, right? There you go. So that's accepting opportunities. You've put out an opportunity, now accept it to lead. It is a natural human tendency to love leaders. It's just what it is because not everyone's a natural leader and that's okay. But I'm sure that there's somewhere in your life where you can find a place that you can lead or start learning how. It's a really important piece. And then the third one is going to be serving, which is one of my favorite, as you know, (laughs) serving others. And sometimes when I say that, people go, I'm sorry, what do you mean? I go, serving others that may be less fortunate, serving others excuse me, that may not have the how, and you may be the how. So you want to look for opportunities. All of us should be giving back in some way. But please don't confuse that with giving away your value for free all the time. That's not what I'm talking about. You need to know your value. You need to know your worth. We all deserve to get paid for that. But we also mentor maybe a young lady that is just getting out of college and right now is trying to figure out what she wants to do. Or building a community project that could give back to the women's shelter. There's so many different things that you can get involved in. It could be the smallest thing, but there's so much. And I always say to people, could you imagine that no one gave back? Could you imagine that no one served those that need us? Oh gosh, what kind of world would we be? We have entire organizations that are based just around serving. So find what you're passionate about, serve, give back and the benefits are, it's almost addicting at times because it just feels so good. 
Yeah, you know, and I think a lot of what people, you know, because you sometimes it's hard to see yourself in a mirror, you know, and people will say things, you're like, oh, yeah, I guess I do do that. Because um, a lady the other day, she's like, Tanya, you treat me just like you treat, you know, these big superstars. I'm like, well, you're a person, you're fabulous, so why wouldn't I, you know? And people don't see themselves as equals a lot of times. And I think that really then takes away their power, right? Yes. And so when you benefit someone and even something like that, Tanya is serving because you have made a choice to treat everyone equally, which of course is fabulous. And that's the way it should be. So someone like that could have been impacted so strongly and so deeply by just a word or a comment or a text or a message. It doesn't have to be this big worldly project. Yes, it's great if you can, but if that's not your path, it's fine. But sometimes something just as simple as walking down the street or saying hi to the cashier at the store, people are influenced so easily by a smile. My favorite one is a smile. Mm -hmm. Smile is really addicting. And sometimes a smile can make someone's world difference. So you want to make sure that you've got a little bit of balance on the four legs, as Tanya said, of the chair, that you're serving and giving back. And like you said, in your profession as well, you're the expert in your profession. You can make an impact on a child or a woman that maybe just came out of a, of a situation that was very not in her control. And she was a victim and she's trying to come out of it. There's just a lot there you can do. Always, always. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We don't have enough time for all the things. <laughs> we like to give back. So yes, we have to have balance because most of us have a family that we need to support and love what we do and work, but always find that time. And there's, it's not hard to find a little time, a little time every month, a little time. Search online, volunteer positions. What are you, what are you passionate about? And again, if the opportunities are not there, create them. One of the things I love to do is create potential serving opportunities. It's just fun for me. So you want to make sure that you do that. I have this back to school event I've been doing for nine years in Las Vegas for the local shelter. The kids get a new backpack, all new school supplies, and a new outfit. And they get to go through and choose what they want. So it makes it this fun, I want that folder, and I want this backpack, and I want that outfit. So it's something just little and fun that just became this really fun thing in Vegas that people look forward to, because who doesn't like to see happy kids? Right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And then the fourth one, so we don't have a, a chair, as Tanya said, that falls <laughs> over, is business. And I like to really state that what I mean is, it's great if you have your own business. And of course, as an entrepreneur for over 22 years, I most definitely suggest it. But even in your profession, what you want to do is you want to be someone that is in your business or profession as someone of value, someone that people look at as an expert, someone that knows their craft and it's known that you know it. And you want to make sure you love what you do. This is a huge one for me. You know how I am about this, Tanya. Love what you do. I give this presentation called Seven Ways to Love What You Do, one of my talks. And I always say at the end, if you don't love what you do, at least, I'm sorry, if you don't do what you love, at least love what you do until you do what you love. Because life happens and sometimes you can't do what you love immediately but at least choose to love what you do because it makes such a big difference in your life when you're waking up excited. Like this morning I woke up, it's Monday as we're giving this interview and I was so excited because it's Monday. How many people can say how excited they are about Monday? That's because I love what I do and I can't wait to get started. Well, and that every morning, you know, I remember a long time ago and I'd get up and all I could think about is going back and wanting to go take a nap, right? You just woke up and I, wa I already want to get me back in bed because there was not that drive to do something really amazing with my life that day. Yeah. Now I get up, I'm like, okay, let's go. And amazing. that's I think when you know you've chosen the right path for yourself. Well, one of the benefits of doing what you love is energy. It's having energy, being successful, having great relationships all around in your life, having good health, being happier. It's just, it's, it's written. It's all in the research. And of course, the opposite effect when you don't do what you love is 
health problems, unhappy relationships, you're moody, you have no energy, you're always tired. It's normal to just want to go to bed because you just, it's exhausting to do what you're doing if you don't want to do it. So it's just common to have that if you're not doing what you love. So I highly suggest finding what you love to do and doing it, or at least choosing to love what you do today until you decide if that's something you want to go on a path on. I absolutely adore it. Yeah. You start really looking at, you know, kind of empowering people to empower themselves because this that's fun too, right? This um, is it. Right. Then when you take that big step and you see somebody like, like flower, like they just opened up. I love those moments. And I'm like, see, I knew it. Was. I knew you were in there. <laughs> it's the best feeling ever. And it's such a wonderful feeling to be able to watch people that I show how to do these things in detail to, I mean, detailed plans and action steps. And, and then I get to watch them from the sidelines, especially with social media today, you get to really watch and you're going, there they are. There they are. They did it. And they just needed that little piece of believing in them, knowing how, and then of course, always the mindset. And those are the pieces that they go, wait, I can do this. I can really do this. I'm not someone that's going to hide my secrets. I share my secrets with the people that work with me, with the people that come to my workshops. I want to share. If I come up with something today that I'm like, this is brilliant. Next week, I'm sharing it with my clients. Right, Tanya? We're not here to, to kind of, like you said, hide and keep everything to ourselves. I'm not concerned about you doing what I'm doing. I want you to be successful too. And the only way we can make sure a lot of people are empowered, as you said, is sharing all the things that we have learned in hopes that they fail less than we did, right? right. And, they, and they succeed because that's all we want. I know. It was funny. I was just having a conversation with a gentleman and I invited him to come on my TV show. And he is in a, a network marketing company that I'm in. And I'm like, well, let's talk about that. He goes, but what if someone wants to sign up with me? And I'm like, like so they resonated with you, even though it may be pushed out to my list too. Who cares? <laughs> I love it. And that's really the place of serving others because we recognize that there is really not a competition. Tanya's going to attract different people, even if Tanya and I did the exact same thing. Tanya's going to attract different people. I'm going to attract different people. And we're all here to uplift and support each other. And if anyone watching does not have that in the world, which I believe you do if you're involved with Tanya, is you need to recognize, find it. The reason I joined the Public Speakers Association is because I found it with those people. And I'm excited to get to know so many more of your members because of the conference coming up. So I'm really looking forward to that. I know. I'm so excited. If y'all haven't signed up for the conference, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> It's July, <laughs> right, right. it's July 6th through the 8th in Las Vegas. So go to public speakers with an S conference.com to find out the details and be there because you are, will be around so much influence. You won't be able to stand it. So it will yes. influence, right? And I'm going to have the great opportunity that Tanya gave me to speak at it and a little bit more in greater detail about the things we're talking about today. And so it's in my backyard. I live in Vegas. Yay. So it's fun for me too, because it's right Right there and I get the opportunity to meet people in person we do so much online today that when we finally Tanya and I have been blessed to see each other in person two or three times now and it's fun because most of the time we never meet each other so if you get an opportunity to meet your fellow members come and if you're not a member come anyways because you want to definitely find out more about this organization yes everyone's welcome to come so yeah and Tanya didn't pay me to plug her I'm just <laughs> I believe in it <laughs> Oh, you're great. So tell us how you, you have something special to give our listeners today, right? I do. So I wanted to share with you if these four cornerstones of mastering the empowerment equation resonated with you at all. I'm really excited. I do a lot of in-person uh, workshops in Las Vegas, but I have a virtual one that's going to be run exactly the same. So if you're interested in learning more about the in-person or the virtual, one is June 30th and one is July 14th. 14th, please go to growyourinfluencenetworkincome.com. So just go to that website. It has all the information about the workshops. You're going to come out of this full day event with me with a workbook that's over 16 pages and your plan 
for the next six months panned out, which is going to be so much fun to be able to attract your opportunities and attract those speaking engagements. I get asked to speak all the time without even being proactive in the sense of reaching out. Of course, I also do that, but a lot of stuff comes to me through these four ways that I implement in my life. Awesome. And I'm give it to them again. Grow your influence network income.com. Perfect. So y'all yeah. go to it like right now. Right now. <laughs> Jump on it because you definitely want to get to know Galit and go beyond, right? And you need all four pillars. You need all four. You really do. To hold your little hiney up in the air so you can, you know, create more heights. <laughs> it's really about attracting that income. It's really about growing that income. We're all in business. Yes, we love what we do, but income is nice too. And I make sure that my clients grow their income through this process. Love it. All right, everyone. So go get connected with Galit. Obviously, you can go and check her out on social media as well. Follow her. Say hello. Contact her. Say, I need to know you because it's all about really empowering you to take new steps because you just never know what your life's going to look like a year from now. I got to, you know, my goal is always the same is that to look back at myself the year before and not recognize myself. Well, that takes stepping up and getting connected to people like Galit and others that can empower me to help me grow and do something and kind of get insight to things I would never have even thought of. Every day. So, right? So thank you, Galit, for being on. Thank we you want to be so soon. For being so fabulous. Yay! All right, everybody. <laughs> we will see you next time on the Tanya Hoffman's fabulous TV show. Bye, Glee. Bye, everybody. Bye.